Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Share Academy. We are starting a new topic that is cell renewable and cell death. So here we'll be talking about like how the cell are regenerating and as well as also about the apoptosis. So already we know like how the cell is undergoing apoptosis, but the detailed pathway, like what all enzymes, what all proteins are required. Okay. So first, so the cell proliferation and the cell proliferation and the death, it occurs throughout the life of multicellular organism. And now that starts with the annual development. So here it begins with the rapid proliferation of the embryonic cells, which later differentiate to produce the many specialized types of cells, which will make the adult tissues and organs. So we all know this thing, right? Now in the case of the nematode, in the case of the nematode, that the C. elegans example, it has only 959 somatic cells, only 959. Right. Whereas in the case of the humans, we have got around one zero. This is 10 raised to four. Okay. 10 raised to 14 cells. This is 959. It consists of more than 200 differentiated cell types. So we know that in the case of the humans, it starts from a single cell, which, which gets fertilized from the fertilized egg. And you know that after fertilization, the cell types of the body are differentiated, right? So now you have a heart, you have got brain, liver, kidney, everything is there. And that you are getting from one single fertilized cell. It is needed, cell proliferation is needed throughout the life to replace the cells which have died. Or sometimes whenever there is an accident, okay, there's a loss of the tissues, loss of the cells are there. So even that you need to maintain right so for that the proliferation of the cell is needed the ability of stem cells to differentiate into wide variety of cell types has generated enormous interest in the potential clinical application of using these cells to replace the damaged tissue so guys i have hoga like we always talk about stem cell therapy right so we'll come to know like you know even though we talk about so much about the stem cell therapy how far it is, uh, what to say, success, okay? And we'll see in detail how exactly this is being carried out and what are the failures, like why it is so difficult. Why we us level tak hai when we have got so much of understanding, right? So I believe that when we have got such a good science and technology in use with us in the science, right? Ek bhi aisi disease nahi hone chahiye, but still we are failing. What are those reasons? We'll discuss those, okay? Although the cells can die as a result of unpredictable traumatic events, such as exposure to toxic chemicals, the cell deaths in multicellular organisms occur by physiological process of the programmed cell death. So here, whenever we will talk about programmed cell death, it is going to be mentioning about the apoptosis. Okay, unless until they mention PCD2. As I told you, PCD2 is also autophagy. If you don't mention it, then you will have program cell death is always apoptosis. So they play a very important role in embryonic development and in the adult tissue. So we'll see that, guys, like you know, uh, formation of ear, right? Formation of your nose, mouth, everything. So you see that there are gaps in the fingers of our, like we have got SA fingers. So that gap is there. If you see in the development, human embryonic development, the hand is formed first like this. Then slowly, slowly, the gap is form, being formed. Now, this gap is coming because the cells over here between these two are getting died, okay? They are removed via the process of the apoptosis. And that's how you have got the fingers, okay? So, any gap or the absence of the whole, like in the nostrils are formed, right? So, nose two nostrils are there. That is also because the apoptosis has taken place. Okay, so that is how your uh, body is programmed, where the required apoptosis is happening. Now, abnormalities of the cell death are associated with wide variety of illness, for example, cancer, autoimmune disease, and uh, neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson, Alzheimer, etc. Now, why Alzheimer? If you guys remember, we have mentioned about the Alzheimer. Kaise hota hai? Do you remember that top protein and how? it is getting accumulated in the neurons. Just imagine, agar wo particular cell, that particular neuronal cell undergoes cell death, then you can say the other neuronal cell, right? But that is not happening. And because of which this tau protein ka jo unwanted uh, aggregation hai, that is spreading to 
the nearby neuronal cells hence the entire region is getting affected plus the person is facing the alzheimer disease okay just imagine agar brain may if this particular cell is damaged and the tau protein is getting accumulated if the cell was able to kill this particular neuronal cell like that is able to remove with the help of the apoptosis then tau protein aggregation would have not spread to the other neuronal cells and hence that person could have been saved but here it is not possible right so isi wajah se kya hota hai fir these neuro degenerative disease or the disorders are getting spread okay now the mechanism and regulation of cell death as well as cell renewal have therefore become areas of research at the forefront of biology and medicine now this is something very interesting like for me also after cancer okay this area of research is really very interesting for me like where we directly talk about the disease and how stem cell is going to help the only problem is that maintaining of the stem cell and you know getting the output from the stem cells is little difficult okay it's a very um, critical to learn and and to maintain okay sorry to so stem cells and the maintenance of the adult tissues hey, able to follow everyone akshaya yes ma'am okay so early development is characterized by the rapid proliferation of the embryonic cells which differentiate to form the specialized cells of the adult tissues and the organs okay so we know cells ka cell cycle just now we have completed right so already the cells are in the g0 phase now agar koi injury hui theek hai then only the cell will leave the g0 stage and enter the cell cycle whether uh, you know proliferation differentiation is needed or not otherwise the cell is going to remain in the g0 phase right now in order to maintain a constant number of cells in adult tissues and organs cell must be balanced by the cell proliferation see this is something like you know your body or the uh, your cells okay they understand so if there is a injury and you have lost Uh, you have lost particular area okay wahan ke sare cell chale gaye so your body understands that okay i need to replace those lost cells so that particular area ke cell kya honge aapke they will start proliferating okay see even you know when you know uh, like even your body hairs are there right body facial hairs are there your body hairs and facial hairs there is a signal for them that after this particular growth you shouldn't increase in length otherwise kya hoga jaise hamare sir ke baal continuously grow hote hain without any stoppage even your body hair can do that but this is not happening right this is not happening after particular length okay it stops but if you then remove it then again definitely it will come but it has got a signal that i should be this much you know i should be this much uh, uh, proliferating okay so that is all based on the signal they get okay they get like this particular body of yours required this much length of the body hair or facial hair if you must have seen there are like uh, males are there they so obviously males have got the thicker and the longer body fa- body hairs and facial hairs as compared to the girls but each girl will have difference different will be there that is because of the difference in their hormones ओके किसी को कम आते हैं किसी को बहुत ज्यादा आते हैं बट दैट इज जस्ट टू मेंटेन टू प्रोटेक्ट देयर ओन बॉडी ओके सो यू नो दैट व्हेन यू रिमूव इट अगेन इट विल स्टार्ट कमिंग आफ्टर वन और टू डेज बिकॉज़ दे गेट अ सिग्नल ओके देयर इज नॉट देयर इट्स अ लॉस ऑफ द लॉस लॉस इज देयर सो देयर देयर यू नो अंडर योर स्किन टाइनी हेयर स्टेम सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट सो देन दे गेट अ सिग्नल देन दे स्टार्ट यू नो रिप्लेसिंग दोस लॉस्ट हेयर्स ओके now if you know i mean this is just for your uh, knowledge only so if you know that now this laser technology is coming right in sort of uh, you know removing your hair with the cream or any waxing technique laser is coming so what those laser is doing they are killing the stem cells okay and it is not a good way actually i feel uh, it is damaging the skin actually so like, anyway that is different story but this is how you can relate your studies to the real life ki kaise kya ho raha hai right so he, there the stem cells are there which is being killed by the laser and that's how uh, they are gaining the uh, that's how the second time the hair won't come out okay okay 
So most tissues therefore contain cells that are able to proliferate as required to replace the cells that have died. Now, in some cases, what will happen? Uh, the subpopulation of cells divide continuously throughout the life to replace the cells that have high rate of turnover in the adult animals. Now, can you tell me which is those particular type of cells which are continuously dividing? Cells, I'm talking about cells. Kya hai? Shruti? What particular kind of cells? Huh? Hematopoietic cells. Okay, but uh, then they also, you know, like your WBCs and all this stopped after particular age. So, yes, correct. One is hematopoietic and another one. Tanvi, can you give? Stem cells? No, Baba. Stem cells, they will stop after a certain age. After 40, I don't think anyone has stem cells. Stem cells? Huh? Sorry? Cancer cells. I'm not able to understand Akshaya once again. Can you repeat? Okay. Cancer cells. Okay, that is there, but... If the organism dies, then though definitely it will stop, right? I'm talking about normal cells. Cancer? Cancer. Breaking. Voice is breaking. Okay. See, of course, cancer cells, they divide throughout your life. If you are giving a chemotherapy, radiotherapy or whatever, then you're actually stopping that thing, right? normal like as you as you said hematopoietic cells same way the skin cells are there on your palm on your feet right every day they actually replace the old cells every day okay till you reach that aging wala age <clears throat> obviously right see the cells which are present on the tip uh, on the tongue surface every day you eat so many things so many cells are going ah aaj apne chai pee ho jeep jala li hai Next day, you don't feel the same sensation, right? Because it has been replaced. It has been replaced. In the same way, skin. Palm skins are there, okay? Feet skins are there. Every day, they're shedding the uh, cells, old cells. Okay, good. So, any, uh, the cell renewal is thus carefully regulated to maintain properly sized and functioning adult tissues and the organs. Now, coming to the proliferation of differentiated cells. Okay, so now the proliferation of the differentiated cell. So there are most types of the differentiated cells in adult animals are no longer capable of proliferation. And once they are lost, then they are replaced by the proliferation of the less differentiated cells derived from the cell renewable cell uh, stem cells. Uh, okay, this also will be more clear. So I guess everyone knows that uh, what what the sentence is saying is that see there is a loss of cell okay because of some accident or whatever injury is there now these will be proliferated or these will be uh, what to say the gap it will be replaced by the less differentiated cell what does it mean not directly the stem cells but by the differentiated cells itself pe kya hoga let's say that uh, Let's say that this is liver cells, okay, which is being lost in some uh, surgery, who are whatever, and it is not there. Just for the imagination, I'm saying, okay. Then we have got the fibroblast cells. So you are inducing fibroblast cells to get, <laughs> sorry, de differentiated. Then that can be differentiated into the liver cells. Are you getting the meaning over here, what I'm saying? So differentiated means stem cells are directly up let's say fibroblast mila okay and stem cell se aapko liver cell mila stem cell se aapko skin cell mila okay this is differentiation what is d differentiation that is d differentiation means losing the ability 
to perform liver function or the fibroblast cells function or the skin cells it is going back to your stem cells right so kaisa hota hai stem cells say fibroblast banega it's not direct there are so many steps are there okay at least 8 to 10 steps are there where from one stem cell it is becoming a fibroblast now when it gets de differentiated what is happening it is just going few steps back where uh, with the help of the other signals it is getting differentiated to these skin cells let's say are you getting the point here we'll come to that like what are those steps what are those proteins what are those transcription factors which is actually giving the signal for the de differentiation and going for the differentiation of the other type but did you get the concept over here like what is de differentiation and how it is going to differentiate to the another type of these uh, cell yes tanvi is it clear yeah okay cool so the other types of differentiated cells however retain the ability to proliferate as needed to repair the damage they should throughout the life of the organisms okay so usually they are at the g0 stage of the cell cycle but they will resume the proliferation whenever it is required <clears throat> now cells of this type include fibroblasts which are dispersed in the connective tissues where they secrete collagen now they are normally arrested in the g0 phase but whenever there is a cut or wound then the it will start proliferating now for that what all is required so blood clotting at the site uh, of the wound leads to the release of the pdga from the blood platelets now please remember like what all uh, cell signaling pathways we have discussed earlier right so now pdga is a this is platelet dna growth factor it is going to act as your ligand correct this is going to activate your receptor tyrosine kinase it will stimulate both the proliferation of fibroblasts and the migration into the wound site where the proliferation and secretion of collagen will happen to continue to repair and the regrowth of the damaged tissue so for your wound healing okay अभी क्वेश्चन आता है वोन हीलिंग में आपका कौन सा पाथवे है सो वेन एवर इट इज योर पी डी जी ए बाइंडिंग टू योर आर टी के ना विच पाथवे इज गेटिंग एक्टिवेटेड लाइक वॉट इज देयर इन आर टी के पाथवे क्या होता है आर टी के पाथवे में एनी वन हु रिमेम्बर्स वॉट हैपन्स वेन इट गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड आफ्टर बाइंडिंग ऑफ द लिगेंट रिसेप्टर टेरोसिन काइनेस वॉट हैपन्स एनी वन थोड़ा बहुत याद होगा Uh, ras and ras and ras before that what what happens when uh, uh, rtk gets activated first thing what is the first thing which uh, uh, happens uh, when receptor tyrosine kinase is getting activated okay i'll give you the hint kinase it is the phosphorylation of your tyrosine domain right here if these are your receptor tyrosine kinase what happens so when a ligand is binding there is dimerization of the receptor if you remember right now what happens after dimerization auto phosphorylation auto phosphorylation so ye isko out of uh, isko phosphorylate karega this dopamine is going to phosphorylate this so what will happen at the end both cytosolic tyrosine domain is getting phosphorylated now to this uh, phosphorylated tyrosine domain you have got the sh2 binding proteins okay rap ras and all it will get activated now for rtk you have got your map kinase pathway getting activated you have got your jack stat pathway getting activated we also have pic3 or we or in few cases they say pi3 pi3k and akt pathway okay so all these pathways are getting activated so we have discussed already this thing okay now the endothelial cells that line up the blood vessels are another type of fully differentiated cells okay which remains capable of proliferation now 
proliferation of endothelial cells will allow to form new blood vessels as and when needed for example for endothelial cells then what or which type of growth factors needed wager that is your vascular endothelial growth factor okay now for example this is this is the cross section here you can see these are the endothelial cells basal lamina is there and the capillaries by which through which the blood is flowing okay now <clears throat> proliferation of the endothelial cells kaise hota hai so for this let's say that you have got a tissue which is deprived of oxygen and mainly the mainly the tissue which is deprived of oxygen kaun sa hai aapka cancer hi hota hai theek hai let's say that we are talking about cancer that's okay to understand this now what happens is that when there is a tissue deprived of oxygen it means blood supply hi nahi ho raha hai wahan pe why because your blood in which rbcs are carrying your oxygen right so they are the only carrier of oxygen and you know why oxygen is required right for the respiration now what happens over here is that when this particular tissue deprived of deprived oxygen uh, sorry oxygen deprived tissues are there they start secreting these growth factors okay that is like a vascular endothelial growth factor now what will happen this is going to stimulate okay this is going to stimulate for the proliferation so what will happen yahan se aapka new blood vessel formation shuru ho jayega now what do you call new blood vessel formation or synthesis shruti what is a specific name for this yes anyone it's called angiogenesis theek okay. hai now so if anyone's asked like do you want to uh, inhibit the process of angiogenesis then you you know that you can either make mutations in the vegf or you can make in the receptors which is present over here on the endothelial cells okay the vegf receptor you can make mutations in that so that it doesn't bind and you can stop or inhibit the angiogenesis okay so the epithelial cells of some mental organs are able to proliferate to replace the damaged tissue and the example is uh, liver cells so liver cells bhi aapko malum hai even though if even a simple uh, single cut or scratch is there the liver cells will start rapidly proliferating now if large number of liver cells are lost like let's say for by uh, surgical removal uh, 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 you know half of the liver has been given the remaining cells are stimulated to proliferate to replace the missing tissue now here also one thing you need to understand If say this is your liver, आपने इतना पार्ट उसको दे दिया है राइट टू सम वन द रिक्वायर्ड पर्सन वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट द सेल अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई नीड टू प्रोलिफरेट बट वो उतना ही प्रोलिफरेट होगा जितना रिमूव हुआ है एंड वंस इट अटेन्स इट्स साइज इट विल स्टॉप ओके ना आई एम आस्किंग हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गन इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट आई शुड बी you know of this size only isse zyada nahi isse kam nahi did you get my point if i say that liver is this much okay how this liver is understanding after cut ki mujhe sirf itna hi replace hona hai and not like this much or not like half of it okay so how it is understanding any idea guys is my question clear to you क्वेश्चन समझ में आया राइट हाँ हाँ सो वॉट इज आंसर देन करेक्ट यस करेक्ट सो कैन यू एड मोर टू दिस like uh, during development वी लर्न समथिंग बट मॉर्फल एक्सेस राइट सो देर आर रेशियोज ऑफ morphogens that are that are like if a certain ratio is obtained the cell stops growing until that moment so when uh, after the liver is done growing and then uh, the organs decide it or uh, the um, fascia and all of those release signals saying that they uh, saying that those organs are in different parts and therefore uh, 
the territory of the liver is all yes correct correct absolutely correct so yeah so it is all these signals you know that will determine of course the environmental factors as well as the internal factors also which will determine the size and of course the shape of the particular organ see that's why we have certain shapes in the uh, shapes of the kidney shapes of the liver right each organ has got some shape and it is with respect to its function as well okay good Mm, okay. For example, a surgical removal of two thirds of the liver of a rat is followed by rapid proliferation of the remaining cells, leading to regeneration of the entire liver within a few days. So, of course, like, uh, uska division time kitna hai, depending on that, the entire liver can be uh, regenerated back. Same thing. So, liver is there. This much two third they said, right? The two third part of the liver has been removed. Now, wherever the cut was there, that particular area, those cells will get the uh, signal, like needed to stimulate, okay, needed the proliferation and then entire liver will be regenerated back. Okay, so now the stem cells. Now let's start, let's go in the detail. Okay, so the question is like, at any age, the regeneration can happen, right? Tanvi, this is a question. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. So what happens is that once you start aging, okay, if you remember, I have mentioned also, for example, in the case of the fibroblast itself, I have mentioned that this particular cell, if you start from the primary cell line, okay, primary cell line, what will happen? This fibroblast can divide up to 40 generations. After that, it will die. Okay. Because these cells, they don't have telomerase in and all. Now, telomerase, if you know the function, they help in the chromosomal end uh, re replications. So, we know that at each time, at the end, this much portion of the chromosome is left to be replicated. Now, this will be done with the help of the telomerase, but these enzymes are not present in the normal somatic cells. So, that's why after a few generations, they will stop dividing. Okay, and that's how we see the loss of cells and the wrinkles, as I mentioned earlier, the wrinkles are nothing but the loss of cells in that particular region. Okay, so regeneration at any stage is not possible for any organ, it is also not possible, even for a kid also, like newborn is there. So newborn can heal very fast because they are at the very, uh, what to say, at the high rate of development. Okay, chote se bacha hai, around you know one to two years small kids are there even they fall so many times but they heal very fast okay so there that time they are in that rapid development stage but just i mean i'm just saying to imagine just imagine this is a small accident and the kid loses his hand or leg then cannot regenerate like how in the case of the lizard lizard can regenerate its tail right salamander is there if you cut its limbs then they can regenerate because they have got that regenerative abilities there, but we don't have that. We have only for cell regeneration. We don't have for the entire organ or tissue. Did you get it, Tanvi? So we can just replace the cells. For that, we have got the regeneration power, regenerative power is there, but we cannot replace the organs of the lost, uh, you know, hand or lost hand, uh, leg. With the, those things we cannot replace or regenerate. Okay, so just see after 40, after 40, there is no, uh, what to say, iske aage, aapka jo regeneration power hai, bhoat kam hai, healing with time lagega. Okay, skin aapki aise old age wali honi shuru ho jayegi, wrinkles aa jayegi, aapke baal jhadne lag jayegi. So all these things will start at the age of the 40. I mean, of course, this might have, take place, this, this might take place before also hair fall and all those things are there, but there is regeneration also. But after 40, it is not possible. Then you have to take care of yourself. At least rather than you know growing a new one, at least to maintain what is being left. Okay. So for humans, regeneration is not possible at all the stages. Whereas in the case of the plants, as you know, because of the Totipotency, it can regenerate from anywhere. 
from flower one tissue one small piece of the leaf root stems whatever you take any part it can regenerate into the new plant okay that is because of the property they have totipotency okay now coming to the stem cells ma'am ma ma yes yes gametes also having lots of telomerase right yes so they wouldn't be considered stem uh, would they be considered stem cells नहीं ना दे आर गैमेट्स राइट उनका क्या काम है दे आर वेटेड टू गेट या दे दे रीजेनरेट ऑल ऑफ द सेल्स सो आई मीन दे डोंट रीजेनरेट बट दे जनरेट ऑल ऑफ द सेल्स हां सो वंस दे फ्यूज दैट्स हाउ यू आर गेटिंग द एंटायर ऑर्गेनिज्म राइट हम्म या हां ओके ओके so now uh, stem cells they are the most uh, so the most fully differentiated cells in adult animals are no longer capable of cell division yes so ek bar differentiate ho gaye ho aapko aapka destination mil gaya hai then they cannot uh, uh, they cannot go for the cell division right so they have to just perform their function and eventually die so nonetheless they can be replaced by the proliferation of a sub population of the less differentiated self renewing cells called the stem cells they are present in the most adult tissues uh, for example uh, to explain this thing do you remember the crypts which is present in the microvilli um let me make let me try to make that diagram something like this these are your microvilli let's imagine that these are your microvilli okay so microvilli be these are the regions okay here your stem cells are present intestinal stem cells are present because see microvilli they are in complete or uh, always they are present in the exposure right they are in the uh, direct exposure to the outside environment so obviously the chances are that the cells might be loss during this right so every time here the stem cells are present they will be you know regenerating to so regenerate hoga to kaise hoga they will be synthesizing the cells and pushing upwards synthesizing the cells and pushing upwards jahan jahan se loss hota rahega to ye yahan baithe hain apne center mein yahan pe but once they are dividing it is pushed up side okay i think i'll have a diagram mai itna acha nahi bana pa rahi but did you get a little point once the diagram will come i'll show you exactly then but did you get a point like how these uh, stem cells are helping in uh, uh, in replacing the lost cells yes sir okay so uh, so they have this capacity to proliferate and replace the differentiated cells throughout the lifetime of an animal okay so they really play important role in maintenance of the most of the tissues and the organs so we know intestinal cells are always uh, replaced they are in continuous exposure right so there are chances that they might be washed up so we need a maintenance of those lost cells for that we have got these stem cells which is maintaining that total number of the lost cells it is replaced then now the key property of stem cell is that they divide to produce one daughter cells and remain stem cells that one divides and differentiate so it means ek stem cell hai ye divide hota hai ek differentiated cell banta hai aur ek wapas aapka stem cell banta hai so every time how many cells i'm getting usually kya hota hai har ek division mein like in one division we should get two cells right here we are getting only one so third division mein kitne milenge mujhe calculate karo yes how many three three अक्षय कैन यू रिपीट थ्री थ्री ओके नो इट्स नॉट थिंक अगेन
it's a simple maths if you look at the figures what i have written with that also you can say actually even if the concept is not clear but looking at the maths you can see the answer you can give the answer okay tanvi would you like to try kya number aana chahiye yahan pe Uh, ma'am, you said one division produces two. Hmm. So, how much will three give? Six. Hey, Baba, cross multiplication has been done. No, four. I'll explain you how. See, normally, whether it's a bacteria or your animal cell, how does it work? we have got this formula right where n is the number of division right first division mein aapko mila do cell second division mein aapko mila kitna four third division mein aapko kitna mila yahan pe eight hai na this is in the normal case 2 raised to n wala mai keh rahi hu so when 2 raised to n is 1 you get 2 2 raised to n is 2 फोर टू रेस टू थ्री एट अब फोर्थ डिविजन में आपको कितना मिलेगा टू रेस टू फोर कितना हो गया सिक्सटीन करेक्ट दिस सो यू एग्री विथ मी राइट ओके दिस इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू दी स्टेम सेल्स स्टेम सेल्स का क्या फंडा है वेन स्टेम सेल इज डिवाइडिंग ओके एट दी एंड वॉट यू गेट इज one differentiated cell and one stem cell so usually isko hum aise nahi banate hain how do we represent stem cell gives you one differentiated cell and it self renew so in one division how many cell i got After one division, how many cells are present? I'm not asking stem cells or differentiated cells. How many cells are present? First division में कितने cell मिले मुझे? एक stem cell है मेरे पास और एक differentiated cell है मेरे पास. Agree? This much is clear. Yes. Okay. Now the differentiated cell will not divide. ये अपना काम करेगा. ठीक है, बट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर पेट्री डिश और वेर एवर इट इज प्रेजेंट अब क्या होगा स्टेम सेल इज गोना डिवाइड अगेन तो वो मुझे क्या देगा एक डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सेल देगा और एक वापस स्टेम सेल देगा तो इन सेकेंड डिविजन वट इज हैपनिंग अगेन आई हैव गॉट वन स्टेम सेल प्लस वन डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सेल ओके ठीक है प्लस पहले का अनदर डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सेल जो पहले से प्रेजेंट है yes, अब समझा एवरीवन श्रुति एंड अक्षय हाँ सो थर्ड डिवीजन में अब क्या होगा अगेन द सेम स्टेम सेल इससे आया हुआ नया डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सेल एंड पहले के दो डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सेल तो कितने हो गए चार क्लियर हा ओके गुड सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर हा कभी भी क्वेश्चन कैसा भी आ सकता है ओके ओके सो वी हैव डन विद दिस लाइव now here stem cell proliferation see this is like where we have got so many differentiated steps happening okay so for example stem cell is there it is differentiating to ek to aapka cell renew kar gaya aur ek aapka differentiate ho raha hai theek hai so now from here differentiating cells you will have the different uh, cells which is getting differentiated which is also known as the transient amplifying cells okay for example this is one stem cell see this is the you know the bap of all the cells 
तो ये एक बार डिवाइड करके अपने आप को सेल्फ रिन्यू कर लेगा एंड द सेल्फ विच इज गोइंग टू गेट डिफ्रेंशिएटेड नाउ दैट इज प्रेजेंट नाउ वेन यू गेट यू नो डिफरेंट सिग्नल्स लाइक this is going to become a hematopoietic cell so this is going to become uh, some other wbcs rbcs or platelet cells or whatever it is then depending on that they will start dividing normally then okay so after one you are going to get two do se char char se aat all those we are getting theek hai these cells will be known as the transit amplifying cells okay after that after this transit amplifying cells ye aapko yaad rakhna guys okay इसके बाद जो डिफ्रेंशिएट होगा वो डायरेक्ट होगा इट मींस फ्रॉम हियर डायरेक्ट आरबीसी बन रहा है यहां से सीधा आपका प्लेटलेट्स बन रहा है यहां से सीधा आपका बी सेल बन रहा है यहां से सीधा आपका टी सेल बन रहा है ठीक है दे आर दी फाइनल वंस द डिफ्रेंशिएटेड वंस इससे एक स्टेप ऊपर क्या है आपका ट्रांजिट एम्प्लीफाइंग सेल्स ओके okay? इतना याद रहेगा ये वर्ड थोड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है डेडिकेटेड विल कम टू दैट लाइक हाउ ईच आर बी सी और डब्ल्यू बी सी आर गेटिंग डिफ्रेंशिएटेड बट जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट बिफोर गेटिंग फाइनल डिफ्रेंशिएटेड स्टेज देर इज वन स्टेप अब विच इज नोन एज दी ट्रांसिट एम्पलीफाइंग सेल्स ओके Now, so these stem cells will give rise to rapidly differentiating cells. Oh, sorry, proliferating cells called transit amplifying cells. Then they undergo several divisions before they finally get. Before they differentiate, okay. So division of stem cells leads to the production of multiple differentiated cells. Now. The division, because the division of stem cell produces new stem cells as well. as the differentiated daughter cells stem cells are the self renewing population okay see that's good right agar stem cells agar apne aap ko self renew nahi karegi to next time what will happen if there is a cut and wound then from where you will start proliferating and getting the new cells so that's why this reservoir of the stem cells is important uh, is required okay for example blood cells sperm cells epithelial cells of the skin or the lining of the digestive tract all of which they have got the short life spans so they need continuously to be replaced and this is only possible once you have got this uh the resources or the reservoir of your stem cells okay so now these fully differentiated cells are not themselves proliferate instead they are continuously renewed by the proliferations of the stem cells ab ye hum samajh mein aa gaya hai right now there are several different types of the blood cells for example erythrocytes which transport oxygen and oxygen and carbon dioxide granulocytes and macrophages which are the phagocytic cells platelets which function in the blood coagulation lymphocytes which is responsible for the immune response but ye sab aapke kahan se aa rahe from the same population of your hematopoietic stem cells right and more than 100 billion blood cells are lost every day in humans and it must be replaced by this hematopoietic stem cells which is present in the bone marrow correct now let's come to the same so we have got here the hematopoietic stem cell one it will get self renew and one will be meant for the differentiation now from here when it divides now depending on the transcription factors which is getting okay the signals they get <clears throat> nano there are so many type other types of the uh, signals are there which will help in the differentiation they get differentiated to the myeloid or lymphoid now if it is myeloid then you know on further division it is going to give you the reticulocyte mega megakaryocyte monocyte and finally giving you erythrocytes platelets macrophages respectively okay now if it is these cells then you are going to get the neutrophils eosinophils and the basophils now if we are getting lymphoid cells they will on further differentiation is going to give the b lymphocytes and the t lymphocytes okay now if you see here the main thing is that they are following the vertical differentiation right so what does it mean it does not mean that this is dividing and giving you megakaryocyte what does it mean is that from the myeloid okay uh, this is further getting differentiated differentiated this is one particular cell yahi aapka reticulocyte banega yahi aapka aage ja ke rbc banega are you getting it over here mm -hmm. ha okay good 
So now the intestine, it provides an excellent example of the stem cells in the self removal of the epithelial tissue. So it is lined by a single layer of the epithelial cells, which is responsible for the digestion of food and absorption of the nutrients, right? But they're always exposed to this extraordinary harsh environment. And they have lifetime of only a few days before they shed into the digestive tract. So these are being continuously renewed. Okay. Now these are renewed by the slow division of the stem cells at the bottom of the intestinal crypts. See those intestinal crypts I was showing, right? Here, your stem cells are present. Right? right. So the stem cells will give rise to the transit amplifying cells, which later will divide and rapidly occupy the two thirds of the crypt. Now they further divide and proliferate giving you giving rise the different types of the cell types of the surface epithelium i think i have got the figure yeah see look at over here so these are your the crypts intestinal crypts are present right now over here you have got these stem cells can you see the stem cells are there so they keep on dividing and what you get is a transit amplifying cells Later, on further division, they become your intestinal cells. That is a differentiated cells. Clear? So, at each crypt, you see that one or two stem cells are present, which keeps on replacing your lost cells. Clear, guys? So, now you know how your inter intestinal cells are always getting replaced. This is the micrograph. Here also you can see the crypt as well as the surface epithelium. Are you able to differentiate? Are you able to see like how the crypt is there and the surface epithelium, epithelium cells are present? Imagine what I imagine actually clearly dikna chahiye. See, this is how it is. Okay. Now, the stained ones are your transit amplifying cells. They are your proliferating cells. Okay. Now, see, from here, you have idea mil jana chahiye. Proliferating cells are stained with antibody, which is again the cell cycle protein. Cell cycle protein they have mentioned. So they might have taken any cyclin or any other cell cycle proteins because they are proliferating. So they are in continuously undergoing division. Cell cycle unka continue hai. Now here you don't see any brown or red color. Why? Because they are the differentiated cells. They are not further dividing. Okay. They are being replaced by these cells. Is this clear? Yes. Now, how are you going to do this um, practically? The question is. Okay, who can start? I have given you the mouse. Okay, I have given you the mouse. It's alive. And the same image I want. So what are all the steps are you going to do? What is the first step you're going to do? Yes. What is the first step? Shruti, start. Um, we'll have to sacrifice the mouse. Very good. Yes. Then. Akshya, second step kya hoga? Hey, hey guys, don't be shy, okay? Jo samaj mein hai, vaisa karo. Because in future, you all are going to do the research, right? So, aapko malum hona chahi, first step kya hai? Ha. After sacrificing the mouse, second step is Akshaya. Uh, dissect the meat. Yes, dissect it, get the intestine out. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Then we will do it.
मैम आइसोलेटिंग माइक्रोविलाई माइक्रोविलाई तो नहीं दिखेगा आंखों से सो ओके वी ऑल विल गेट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस सो ऑफ कोर्स फर्स्ट सैक्रिफाइसिंग दी माउस देन यू हैव गॉट द डिफरेंट वेज आल्सो ओवर हियर दैट आल्सो यू शुड नो सो एक रहता है जहां पे यू कैन गिव सो मच ऑफ क्लोरोफॉर्म ठीक है दूसरा होता है वेयर यू पुट द माउस इन टू दी सीओ टू चैम्बर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो द माउस विल डाई वेरी फास्ट एक रहता है वेयर इट इज नोन एज वॉट क्या कहते हैं उसको शेट आई फॉर द नेम नाउ वेर यू एक्चुअली पुल दी टेल ऑफ द माउस तो क्या होगा स्पाइनल डिसलोकेशन ऐसे कुछ वर्ड है फॉर गॉड प्लीज चेक आउट ओके वेर यू एक्चुअली पुल द टेल सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड विल गेट डिटैच फ्रॉम द ब्रेन बट वो एक झटके में होना चाहिए अदरवाइज द माउस विल बी इन सो मच ऑफ पेन ओके सो एक ही झटके में जो उसका टेल खींच देता है तो उससे क्या होगा पूरा उसका जो स्पाइनल कॉर्ड है ना दैट विल गेट दैट विल बी ब्रोकन बट दैट शुड बी हैपनिंग इन वन पर्टिकुलर जर्क सो विद इन सेकेंड द माउस डाई ओके सो दे प्रोसीजर बिकॉज it's not ethical to keep any animal cell uh, sorry to keep any animal you know in the pain or in the suffering it is not ethical okay so there are very uh, steps are there like you know uh, precautions you have to take so even though we know that we are going to kill uh, sorry we shouldn't say kill uh, sacrifice a mouse but it should be done in such a way that the animal is not in pain it's not suffering okay we have to follow certain ethical <coughs> sorry ethical steps here okay so these are the uh, ways by which you do spinal cord dislocation i think i am not getting the word okay jab yaad aayega i'll tell you but these are the ways by which you actually sacrifice a mouse correct now mm -hmm. huh. what determines how uh, if you would use chloroform or carbon dioxide or like which method you use okay so if it is not affecting your protein or whatever work you are going to do okay if it is not interfering with that then you can use chloroform wala method and uh, co2 and the other method is see why i am saying the other method that is location wala from my experience i am saying i could never do mujhse nahi hua you know you know just pulling the tail and uh, sacrificing the mouse i could never do i always went for the co2 chamber so it's on the techniques also now why chloroform is also not uh, we were using because we were doing the protein expression if that particular chloroform that time you know inhaling and changing the expression of the protein or the you know whatever the sample i am uh, interested it might interfere at the end of the day chloroform is a chemical which might interfere so in order to avoid this method i never used only this method because the third method i could never do okay so it's not that you need so much of power in your hand but that jerk you know that jerk you should be able to give <clears throat> that answers your question shruti yes ma'am ah okay so as such aisa kuch aur tarika nahi hai i mean there is no other further criteria but of course you know we we, we won't be taking knife and sacrificing the mouse okay it's like as i said it's not ethical you cannot have your lab animals you know in suffering it should be just sudden that's how the ethical committee has given the permission to work on the animals okay so whether it's mice or you know uh, what are those cute ones ha hamsters are there all these have to be you know follow this so in when i was working at you know the tata cancer hospital that time i used this method only it was very difficult for me you know the other methods and all for the chloroform you know you should you can't put the chloroform directly you have to take in some cotton cloth and then you have to hold the mouse and then you know cover the face for me that was also difficult it's not i was scared of it but you know holding the mouse and you know doing it it was difficult and the technique wise i was not able to do so best best method for me was to put the mouse into the co2 chamber okay so that is a method i have taken okay so what is the next step so you have sacrifice a mouse start dissecting the mouse take the intestine okay now in the intestine also see everything is in the chain type um 
what i meant chain type is like it is in continuous a small and large intestine so wherever you are interested that particular region you will take in small small sections you will take theek hai this such a big intestine aise aata hai small large intestine in continuous it will come till the rectum right so <clears throat> which part do you need that cross section you can take right aap chote chote pieces le lo now keep this thing in whatever the preservatives you are carrying next what you are going to do is take the cross sections very thin cross sections you going to take okay iske liye the best way is to use cryotome i don't know whether you have used or not i don't know but cryotome mein kya rahega they freeze the tissue and make very thin slices and they use a diamond knife okay it it really makes very 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 thin slices now That will be fixed in your slide. यहाँ पे आपका फिक्स कर देंगे ठीक है ना दिस विल बी गिवन टू यू देन फिफ्थ लास्ट स्टेप सॉरी क्रॉस सेक्शन हो गया क्रॉस सेक्शन यूर मेकिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ द क्राइटोम देन यू आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर द स्टेनिंग ओके ना इन द स्टेनिंग यू कैन यूज एंटीबॉडी अगेज अल साइकिल प्रोटीन बट हियर अगेन वेन आई सेनिंग there is lot of there are, there are so many steps in this because when you get the sections it is covered with the paraffin wax so that the tissues are not exposed to the outside air and the tissue is not getting damage so staining se pehle i need to remove those waxes right for that you have got a one day procedure to carry out and after that only you keep it for the staining theek hai and after staining you observe under the microscope and you should get such images okay guys did you get a point like how exactly this experiment then can be conducted of course you need more detailed steps and the uh, thorough knowledge of the staining but did you get an idea like kaise hum koi experiment ko shuru kar sakte hain any steps which is not clear to you anyone you can ask me no problem if you want i can go in detail also so since this staining is done with the help of the antibody it is also known as this is for the tissue right it is also known as ihc immunohistocytology clear guys any doubts in any other steps over here yes sir no no okay good now let's talk about the skin stem cells okay so now about the skin stem cells okay so dheere dheere now we are going into the deep like uh, you know the pathways and the proteins specific names and all that we are going to discuss now in the case of the skin stem cells they are also responsible for the renewal of the skin and the hair as i just mentioned right uh, that's how you actually uh, so whenever laser exposure is there you are actually damaging these stem cells so like the lining of the intestine skin and the hair are exposed to the harsh and external environment including the uv from directly the sunlight okay so the skin consists of three cell lineages epidermis hair follicles and the sebaceous glands so these sebaceous sebaceous glands they produce oil that lubricate the skin surface otherwise it will become very dry now the epidermis is multi layered epithelium which is undergoing continuously cell renewal in case of humans it turns over every two weeks the cells being sludged from the surface so they are replaced by the epidermal stem cells which reside in a single basal layer now the epidermal stem cell they give rise to transit amplifying cells which undergo around 3 to 6 division before differentiating and moving outward to the surface of the skin theek okay? hai so as i mentioned 
you have got the stem cell from here you are going to get the transit amplifying cells iske baad kuch aur 10 15 differentiating steps honge and then you get the final skin cells okay so stem cells are responsible for producing hair in reside in a region of your hair follicle called the bulge so this bulge stem cells will give rise to your transit amplifying matrix cells which gives you hair shaft yahan se aapka hair uh, will start growing okay finally a distinct population of stem cells which resides at the base of the sebaceous gland so there are three cell lineages humne kya kya discuss kiya jahan pe you have got the epidermal cells right uh, epidermal cell is there and then you have got the hair follicles and the sebaceous gland so all the three i have their own stem cells now it is notable that if the skin is injured stem cells of the bulge can also give rise to epidermis and the sebaceous gland which demonstrates that their activity as multipotent stem cells from which both skin and the hair can be derived did you get this point even though we have got three different stem cells for the epidermis for the hair follicles and for the sebaceous glands but when there is an injury from your bulge yani ki the stem cells of the hair from there also it can differentiate to form the skin okay saying that th these particular stem cells they are multipotent yani ki ye kisi aur mein bhi differentiate ho sakte hain okay again so we have got the epidermal uh, let's say epidermal stem cells hair follicle wala stem cells and then we have got the sebaceous glands wala stem cells okay so they give rise to the epidermis this give rise to the hair bulge and this give rise to the sebaceous glands now when there is a damage these stem cells can give rise to the epidermis and the sebaceous glands ye isko bhi differentiate kar sakta hai ye isko bhi differentiate kar sakta hai and same way sebaceous gland stem cells can differentiate into the hair follicle and the epidermis did you understand this cross connection this is the multipotency of these stem cells clear guys okay so here as you see you have got certain you know the multiple layers of the epithelial cells now here as you see we have got the epidermal stem cells can you see this purple color they are showing with that they get differentiate and give rise to the transit amplifying cells okay then these transit amplifying cells will start giving rise to these these particular cells and then they keep on pushing them upwards jo skin cell hai which is exposed to the outer environment is these cells which gets you know loss and that will be replaced by these particular cells okay at this region they have taken from here this is your one particular hair follicle this is the hair shaft now the area where oh sorry the area where it is present it is known as the bulge where hair follicle stem cells are present this is known as the bulge now here you have got the hair follicle stem cells can you see it right isi ke baju mein aapke paas sebaceous gland hai okay they also have got the sebaceous gland stem cells and here we have got the epidermis clear guys is it clear here you have got the hair follicle ka bulge okay so these cells are present even your sebaceous gland cells are present now here it is your epidermis right now this region they have shown it over here this region this one second let me show it again can you see these particular region ye this is this region where you have got the epidermal stem cells theek okay? hai so cells on the surface are continuously lost and replaced by the epidermal stem cells in the base layer okay they give rise to the transient amplifying cells which undergo 3 to 6 divisions in the base layer before differentiating and moving to the surface of the skin distinct stem cells of the sebaceous gland reside at its base stem cells of hair follicles reside in a region beneath the sebaceous gland called the bulge okay so you just have to remember this the entire thing now is it clear guys skin cell k you have got the three types of the cell lineages that is one is 
epidermal stem cells, sebaceous gland stem cells, and the hair follicle stem cells. Is it clear? Or should I explain again? Tanvi, is it clear? Okay, okay, okay good. Okay. Now this is for your epithelial cells. So stem, uh, stem cells, again, you uh, give rise to the uh, transit amplifying cells and later you get the absorptic epithelial cells, goblet cells and the enteroendocrine cells. Okay. So slowly, slowly, you, you know, uh, after differentiation, depending on the transcription factors and the environmental signals, they will get differentiated. Now coming to the skeletal muscle stem cells. So we discuss epithelial uh, cells of the intestine. We discuss about the skin epidermal cells now about the skeletal muscle stem cells now they provide example of the role of stem cells in the repair of the damaged tissue in contrast to the just replacing okay like how we saw in the case of the hematopoietic intestinal epithelium and the skin in the case of the skeletal muscle as we know it is multinucleated cells right it is formed by the cell fusion during the development although skeletal muscle is normally stable tissue with little cell turnover, it is able to regenerate rapidly in response to your injury or exercise. Okay, now why exercise? See, we all know, if we start to do some exercise tomorrow, like if I sit in I'll be like very super excited and super energetic. So I'll be doing and squats, running and all. So what will After taking one night rest, the next day my body will be in pain, right? So that is because I have used my body, I have used my muscles, I used my, you know, tissues more than required in a particular day. Because of which, because of the excessive usage, there was a damage, right? Now, when this damage is getting healed or repaired overnight, the next day I'm in pain, right? If you do daily exercise, you don't have pain. But all of a sudden, once you do, it is happening. Why? Because of this, koi bhi cheez, if you, if you are using more than required, it is going to be overused, right? Over usage, there will be tear and wear because of which your body now needs to go under repair. Just give it inflammation hoga, and that's how you get pain in the next day. Clear? See, if you so that's why if you do exercise daily, tab aapko pain nahi hoga. but see. If you daily exercise, bhi karte hai, sab kush karte hai, but kisi ek din, you are doing more than that also, then also you are going to, uh, you have to, you know, suffer that much pain. Okay. Although skeletal muscle is normally a stable tissue with little cell, with little cell turnover, it is able to regenerate rapidly in response to injury or the exercise. Now, this regeneration is mediated by proliferation of the satellite cells which are the stem cells of the adult muscle so those are known as the satellite cells so they are located beneath the basal lamina of your muscles muscle fibers now look at over here so ye figure humne pehle bhi dekha hai when we were talking about the contractions of the muscles right so you have got the muscle muscle is nothing but the bundle of the muscle fibers and it is multinucleate because they they are formed by the fusion of the cells right now here it is the plasma membrane nucleus dikhaya hua hai each myofibril is there each myofibril is made up of these the sarcomere unit a band z this and all we have discussed this thing right now satellite cells let's talk about the satellite cells so this is your one muscle fiber myofibril okay here these are the nucleus now this is the plasma membrane now what is basal lamina the upper layer in a uske niche wale ko hum bolte basal lamina and to that we have got the satellite cell clear so these are the stem cells of the skeletal muscles which is located beneath the basal lamina of the muscle fibers clear Are you able to get it? The satellite cell, which is present below the basal lamina. No. Okay, I'll just go one by one. This pehla layer jo dikh na, aapka myofibril ka, This is your basal lamina. Uske niche aapka satellite cell hai. Theek hai? Uske niche aapka plasma membrane hai. This line, do you see? Ye aapka plasma membrane hai. 
उसके अंदर आपका न्यूक्लियस है एंड दी अदर माइफेबल वॉट एवर इज प्रेजेंट डिड यू गेट इट ओके सी जब भी कुछ डाउट हो एंड यू नो नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस इमेज गो यू नो गूगल इज ए यू कैन जस्ट पुट द मसल सैटेलाइट सेल्स यू गेट अ बेटर व्यू बेटर पिक्चर ओके बट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर दैट सो नॉर्मली देर इन द जी जीरो फेस बिकॉज हम तो कुछ किए नहीं अनलेस अंटिल आपको चोट लगी है या आपने अचानक से एक्सरसाइज किया है सो वंस एक्टिवेटेड द सैटेलाइट सेल्स विल गिव राइज टू प्रोजनी दैट विल अंडर गो सेवरल डिविशन एंड फर्दर डिफ्रेंशिएट फ्यूज टू फॉर्म दी न्यू मसल फाइबर्स ओके सो कंटिन्यूसली कैपेसिटी ऑफ स्केलेटल मसल टू रीजनरेट थ्रू आउट लाइफ इज ड्यू टू सेल्फ रिन्यूवल ऑफ दी सैटेलाइट सेम सेल पॉपुलेशन ना गाइज यू हियर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हम जो डेली लाइफ में जो बातें करते हैं लाइक हाउ एक्जैक्टली इट इज रिलेटेड इफ यू आई डोंट नो लाइक हाउ मच यू गाइज डू दी एक्सरसाइज एंड ऑल मुझे नहीं पता बट इफ यू आर इन दैट फेज लाइक इफ एनी वन इज डूइंग इन योर फैमिली आपने सुना ही होगा और लाइक यू मस्ट हैव सी यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड्स और एनी अदर रिलेटिव द मोर यू एक्सरसाइज यू बिल्ड अप दी मसल्स राइट ये हमेशा हम लोग हमेशा बोलते हैं ना ईट मोर ऑफ प्रोटीन डाइट एंड बिल्ड द मसल्स मसल्स कैसे बनेंगे आपके प्रोटीन से बनते हैं राइट और वो एक्सरसाइज से ही मसल्स क्यों बनते हैं वाई नॉट यू नो जस्ट हैविंग द प्रोटीन डाइट एंड घर पे बैठे रहो क्यों नहीं बनते हैं इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन वेन यू स्ट्रेस आउट ओके स्ट्रेसिंग आउट मीन्स यू डूइंग एक्सरसाइज ऑफ एक्सरसाइज दिस इज नथिंग बट अ काइंड ऑफ इंजरी टू योर मसल सेल्स जिसको आपने कभी कुछ काम नहीं करवाया जिस नॉर्मल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन रिलैक्सेशन था जस्ट मूविंग हैंड हियर एंड देयर यूजिंग मोबाइल और राइटिंग और समथिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वेन यू डू सर्टन थिंग्स एक्सेसिव आपने कुछ ज्यादा काम किया ठीक है इंजरी हुआ या एक्सरसाइज कैटेगरी में उसको लेते हैं अब क्या होता है नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज दैट दी सैटेलाइट सेल्स आर गेटिंग एक्टिवेटेड ठीक है अब ये क्या करते हैं दे विल कीप ऑन डिवाइडिंग दिस सेल्स ओके मसल सेल्स लेटर ऑन दे विल फ्यूज एंड दे विल फॉर्म द मसल फाइबर्स ना व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इफ यू टेक ओनली प्रोटीन डाइट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग मोर ऑफ योर मसल फाइबर्स आर बीइंग फॉर्म्ड अब जितना ज्यादा एक्सरसाइज करोगे जितना ज्यादा प्रोटीन डाइट लोगे उतना ज्यादा डिविशन होगा उतना ज्यादा आपका न्यू मसल बनेगा एंड दैट्स हाउ यू डेवलप मसल्स ओके okay. अगर आप ज्यादा एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हो और आप काब से ले रहे हो सो व्हाट विल हैपन देयर मसल फाइबर विल नॉट फॉर्म देन वेयर मोर प्रोटीन रिक्वायर्ड ओके दो यू आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज बट यू आर स्टिल हैविंग हाई डाइट इन कार्बोहाइड्रेट सो व्हाट विल हैपन द बॉडी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग अरे यू नो सो मच ऑफ एक्सरसाइज मीन सो मच ऑफ एटीपी इज रिक्वायर्ड और अगर मेरे पास कार्बोहाइड्रेट मुझे मिल रहा है ज्यादा तो मैं क्या करूंगी उसका ग्लाइकोजन एंड एडिपोस बनाने की कोशिश करूंगी right are you able to relate like what we talk in daily life and how exactly it is happening in our body also so this fat deposition is because your body understands are kal khana nahi milega because you have given that shock to your body if you were eating right proportion at every right time okay then your body will think that are ha my my body my cells they are going to get the nourishment at the right time If seven o'clock, one o'clock, and by another seven o'clock, if you're taking your food at right quantity, nobody will ever will become fat. But अगर आपने इसको धोखा दिया है, आपने सुबह नाश्ता नहीं किया और अचानक से लंच किया है, so that time what happens is that it gives you a trigger. अरे I'm still hungry, I'm still hungry, I'm still hungry. क्यों? Because your body wants to protect itself from next time. कि if you don't eat, but I have to function. तो मैं जितना अब भी खा सकता हूँ, खा लूँगा और मैं इसको प्रिजर्व करके रखूंगा बट सेकेंड टाइम यू आर नॉट चीटिंग यू आर रीडिंग अगेन थर्ड टाइम यू आर नॉट चीटिंग यू आर रीडिंग अगेन बट देन अगेन फोर्थ फिफ्थ टाइम यू आर चीटिंग राइट तो इस वजह से क्या होता है ना द बॉडी इज ऑलवेज कंफ्यूज सो उसको उस कंफ्यूजन से हटाने के लिए दे ऑलवेज यू नो कीप अ रिपोजिटरी यानी कि योर रिपोजिटिव शो सो दे कीप योर कार्बोहाइड्रेट ओवर दे जो खाते हो फिर वो सब उसको डिपोजिट कर लेता है सो इफ यू डोंट चीट योर बॉडी देन यू You won't become fat then. Simple concept. Okay, chalo. So they normally present in the G zero phase unless until they are getting proliferated, activated to proliferate in response to the injury or the exercise. Once activated, they will give rise to the progeny, and then they will undergo divisions, fuse to form a new muscle. Okay. Now, stem cells they have also found in many other adult tissues, including the brain and heart, and it is possible that most, if not at all. 
tissues contain stem cells with the potential of replacing the cells that are lost during the lifetime of the organism. It appears that stem cells reside within distant microenvironments called niche, which provide the environmental signals that maintain stem cells throughout the life and control the balance between their self renewal and differentiation. See, guys, when we say now that these stem cells can have the potential of replacing the cells which are lost. Uh, there is a very beautiful um, experiment, not experiment actually, it was the finding actually. I don't know whether you guys have heard or not. Uh, it was also shown in one of the movies, but the way they showed was very bad. Picturization was very bad, but the concept was correct actually. So when there is a pregnant woman, okay, if there is a pregnant woman and if suppose uh, she has some heart disease condition is there, okay heart disease condition is there what will happen is that the fetus is there right so fetus is rapidly dividing and they have got this regeneration power so if they get a signal the heart disease condition so whenever this heart disease condition is there they also release certain chemicals right now if these chemicals are being detected by the fetus they send the regenerating cells to the heart of your uh, mother or whatever some signal they give for repair of that heart did you get it this was actually a great finding but there were so many controversies now the first controversy kya hai isme? tell me Did you understand the scenario over here? Kya hua hai? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Problem kya hai? So scientifically, this is still going on, okay? They, have, they haven't proved scientifically kaise hua. This is what they believe, but it kaise hua. Kyunki bohut saare isme controversy thai. First controversy kya hai? What do you think? Like whatever knowledge you have, kya hai? See, of course, in the pregnancy, you know, uh, the woman... She gets very beautiful hair, skin is very good. But na, that's because she is on the uh, you know, she's on the medicine, and that time, you know, during the pregnancy, she is taking all the good vitamins and good nutrition. She is taking that's why good hair and good um, it, the skin becomes very good, you know, very uh, say, glow reta hai, vagera, vagera. But after the delivery, everything is lost back to normal but in this case okay this case there was very uh, very big one controversy was there what went wrong like what could go wrong pe ho hai pe? Socho, kya ho sakta hai? yes it's okay. But I really want you guys to think. My lectures are meant for thinking. Tanvi, kya hoga reason? As a science student, what is that wrong? You know, kya cheez hai jo khatak raha hai? Ki kaise ho sakta hai? Okay, what you can do is you can read about this article. Just try to put these keywords, okay? Okay, so the controversy which I also thought and it was also mentioned in the article was there is this connection between the mother and the fetus. Okay, what is that? Yeah, okay. Through which fetus is getting the nutrition from the mother. Correct? We have never reported, we have never heard about it that mother is getting anything from the fetus. The placenta is meant for the fetus growth. The umbilical cord, like through which the fetus is getting all the nutrition. Correct? This is one way process. Mother to fetus. There is no way in the reverse direction fetus can provide to the mother. 
but people have said that when these chemicals are there so obviously when there is a damage these chemicals or whatever okay they go into the blood system do you agree mm -hmm. ha blood system is connected to the fetus do you agree fetus ko nutrition aur kaise milega right whatever is getting absorbed by the mother intestine and all that is being passed to the fetus through the umbilical cord or whatever that is present but the blood system is in uh, is in connections with the fetus right fetus ka blood kahan se ban raha hai fetus grow kahan se ho raha hai it's all from the mother controversy ye tha that fetus can only receive it cannot provide anything this is only one way direction theek hai so usko answer karne ke liye logo ne kaha hai that uh, if not through the placenta if not through the umbilical cord then from the amniotic sac it can now what does it mean it means if this is a womb here is your fetus it is present in the amniotic sac amniotic fluid this is okay सिग्नल उसको मिल गया अम्बलिकल कॉर्ड से फीटस ने रिलीज किया यहां पे इन द एमनोटिक फ्लूड एंड फ्रॉम हियर इट गॉट लीक्ड एंड रीच द मदर्स डिसीज ऑर्गन ये कहानी थी अब वो कितना सच है हाउ साइंटिफिकली दे हैव प्रूवन इवन आई हैव नॉट फॉलोड द आर्टिकल लेटर but something i remember during this topic so i discuss with you so if you guys are interested please go you know try to look for this article and right? try to understand see these are the things which make science interesting right and it gives you an essay inspiration to work in these kinds of area so we all know that during the fetal development so many regenerative stem cells are present that we all agree but kaise usne रिलीज किया एंड इट इज रीचिंग टू दी मदर्स डैमेज ऑर्गन दैट इज अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी की वो कैसे हुआ होगा राइट एंड टू प्रूव दैट यू हैव टू डू दी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ओके सो दिस इज रियली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट सो आई डोंट नो हाउ मच यू गॉट इट बट ट्राई टू गेट दिस आर्टिकल रीड अबाउट इट इट्स रियली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके कमिंग बैक टू दिस so the stem cells which are rare in the adult mammalian tissues however so the precise identification of stem cells and the niche represents a major challenge in the field of stem cell biology for example interstitial stem cells which are found at the base of the crypt just now we saw right now the signaling pathway so here in this case in the case of the interstitial stem cells it is a vent pathway which play important role in controlling the proliferation so vent polypeptides they are secreted by the epithelial cells and the fibroblasts of the underlying connective tissues which are responsible for the interstitial stem cells maintenance so here these are the stem cells this which we have seen in the last uh, like uh, last slides right now what is happening this is a niche where these stem cells are present now how this is happening because of the vent signaling pathway so the stem cells of the small intestine they are maintained by the vent polypeptides which are produced by the adjacent parent cells and the fibroblast cells in the underlying connective tissues theek hai so how are you activating your interstitial stem cells with the help of the vent signaling pathway vent polypeptides kaun secrete kar raha hai uske adjacent cells and the fibroblasts where you saw that the it is exposed to the harsh con harsh conditions of the uh, you know uh, outside environment and the cells are getting re uh, cells are getting washed off or the sloughed off right so that is getting now giving you signal okay now i should release certain vent polypeptides in order to carry out the vent signaling so that the uh, interstitial stem cells are able to differentiate yes did you get it Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be stopping here now. So what all we have discussed today? Let's just summarize. So we discuss about the first, like the importance of having the cell regeneration. Cell death to I guy. Like when we talk about life, we have to talk about death also. Now, apart from that, then we talked about stem cells. Under stem cells, 
uh, specifically we have mentioned about the skin intestine hematopoietic right and the skeletal one so as you see kitna difference aa raha hai right and then we have talked about the transit <coughs> transit amplifying cells those are important ones because bar bar unka naam aayega theek hai so please remember this so that you know in the next lecture when we do <coughs> we will be talking about the pluripotency and how uh, stem cell therapy can be done so we will be discussing that just try to read certain articles which you know interest and those articles also we can discuss okay so any doubts in today's lecture guys okay then i'll be stopping here